Some aggrieved customers of GN Savings and Loans uh, Company, as well as Gold Coast Fund Management, have been besieged, uh, have besieged the premises of Coconut Groove Hotel, uh, which is one of the subsidiaries of Group Indum, the parent company of the two troubled financial firms. The customers are demanding their locked up funds, some of which have matured, uh, you know, some three months now. Gold Coast Fund Management and the commission um, is uh, currently hearing uh, these complaints in accordance with the provisions of the uh, Securities Industry Act 2016. As you may be aware, the Securities and Exchange Commission has asked uh, Gold Coast Fund Management to, to stop uh, receiving uh, deposits. We've just been joined in the studio by the uh, general manager in charge of investor relations at Gold Coast Securities, Benjamin Kofi Affair. Thank you very much for your time. I know your office has been inundated with the calls and uh, many people coming in to demand their monies. How are you handling this pressure? Well, thank you for the opportunity to talk to you and to your viewers as well. Um, well, as you know, the pressure hasn't been easy, um, but we've taken steps to talk to our customers. Um, the numbers are quite huge, and so it's been difficult reaching everybody. But as much as possible, we've made efforts to talk to everybody. As I talked to you, uh, a team of managers uh, put together who are calling our top uh, clients as I talk to you. It's something we are doing between today and tomorrow. So whilst we do that, then the branches deal with those who are working into the branches as well. It's, it's been difficult, but you don't try our best to manage it. In terms of... To pay them? Liquidity is a difficulty we have that we're Where working on. Where is their on. money? They are in investments. And you know, sometimes these things happen. It's not every day uh, you see a company in this. But some of the investments have matured, have been uh, But you know, that's why I was going back to say that when a company has done this successfully for all these years, Maybe once in a while some of these difficulties come so that we can rethink and redo things. Uh, so I need to understand way. this point clearly. Yes. People have saved their monies with you. Invested. They've been invested. Yes. Over a period of time. Yes. These investments have matured. Yes. Why is it difficult to pay them? Well, when somebody brings money to you as an investment house mm. and agree that you should invest it, they're expecting that you put the money to work. Right. And then you can take it and pay it back. Right. But Every now and then, you have situations where, for example, getting the money back doesn't work out in terms of the timing as you want it. So, for example, you're saying the investments are there, but turning those investments to liquid cash so that we can pay is the difficulty. So it's not that Why is it the investment... Why difficulty? Well, it happens. It happens. You would make your projections... Have you been affected by the current happenings within the financial market? Of course. You have to remember that all, there are a lot of interlinkages within the system. Mm -hmm. So you may give money to me, I give the money to another bank or another investment house or another uh, finance company to work with so that we can return the money plus the principal. So as long as there are difficulties along the chain, mm -hmm. it would affect you. Mm -hmm. There are other investments we've made, for example, in pre-finance, some projects uh, of the country, and we haven't had the monies coming back as fast as we wanted. Of course, efforts are being made, and so the monies are coming. That. But we are we are sure that as long as the investment have been properly done, we'll get the monies back. Have deposits gone down? Are people We have not taken any deposits since October for that since part. October yes. of last year. Yes. You haven't taken any money. We have not taken any deposit because one that product is no longer available. So we can't take anybody's money into that product again. So we have not taken anybody's money. So why into is the Security Selection Commission asking you not to take any further deposits? Unfortunately, I can't speak to that, but we had actually also communicated that we have done that. We have not taken anybody's money uh, since October. Possibly it is just to reiterate what we have already done to the public, but the truth is that it is something we've done since October. We haven't taken anybody's money because that product is no longer available. So how are we going to resolve this challenge? Well, I'm happy to note that from the statement of the SEC uh, yesterday, they confirm that we've taken a number of solutions to them. The, we have said that the assets are there. It is turning this asset into liquid cash within a short time that you know, poses the problem. But given a bit of time and given their approval of our solutions, we believe that we can turn the situation around. And so I am quite positive that once we get a go ahead with the options and the solutions we provided to the exchange, 
and they give us the go ahead. We'll be able to roll this out and gradually build back the liquidity. You are where uh, customers are becoming increasingly impatient. You are where this has become a security. Even so yes, it has been difficult. Mm. And uh, I'll be honest with you, it hasn't been easy managing the situation. But you can also understand, especially because there's money that is involved. But I also tell our customers that, difficult as it is, violence doesn't help us in any way. Because as a staff, even if I don't run away, any other staff may likely not want to come to the office. It makes it difficult then to meet anybody to interact with. So difficult as the situation is, my plea to our customers is, please don't do anything, that will, any violent activity doesn't help us. Anything that puts the steps we are taking to correct this back doesn't help our situation. So in as much as I empathize with the situation, because I have seen some of the situations and they are not pretty, but the truth is that if the money was also there, we would not allow this to happen. We are pleading with them. We are working every day, every night to ensure that the solutions we are putting together will, will bring some relief to them. We are also raising some money. Mm -hmm. And we are positive that once we have the approval, once we have, once we have the go-ahead from the others that we are raising the money from, we should be able to take care of the difficulties that our customers are in. Look, mm -hmm. we've worked with them all these 25 years. We've created value for the, our customers all these 25 years. And they'll be part of the success story of the company. And so my plea is that they don't do anything that damages our effort to resolve this situation because we are willing and we are happy to sit with them. We are happy to work to make sure we bring a resolution to this. All right, thank you very much. Uh, Benjamin Kofia Fere. Benjamin Kofia Fere is the general manager in charge of investor relations at Gold Coast Securities. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for bringing us updates on this story.